So most people think that creating inspiring photos can be an overwhelming process that is time consuming, expensive, and very difficult to do. But that actually cannot be further from the truth. In this video, we're gonna show you just how easy it can be by taking this one simple step. Even if you do not think that you have the experience necessary, the time to dedicate to editing, or the gear necessary, the truth is you don't really need any of those things. You just need the one key that we're going to give you in this video. And in case you haven't watched our first video from our six part series, go ahead and do that. We actually cover how you should be using a holistic vision to your photography rather than just buying presets and looking at disjointed YouTube videos. And we actually show you how we've used this approach to help teach thousands of photographers to improve their own photography. Now, with that being said, we really wanted to walk you through the first part of our framework, and that is to take a step back. And what do we mean when we say take a step back? Well, literally just take a step back. We want you to be looking at photography from a holistic approach where you're planning out the shoot, shooting, and then editing with everything in mind. And that is really what we mean when we say the photography with purpose framework is that everything should have a purpose to it. You should be intentional with everything that it is you are doing. And that really comes from having a fresh perspective and just taking a step back. All right, let's break it down a little bit. So when you're out shooting in the field, you actually wanna to get to a point where you're shooting with the edit in mind. Not only is this gonna help you dictate which settings you're using, but it's just gonna help you be more purposeful throughout your entire photography process. Exactly, and that goes from the settings to the lens selection that you'll use to the other gear and compositions that you'll use. For example, if we are out in Mount Tam, for example, taking a look at this one, we know that there are a bunch of things layered together, so we know automatically that we will choose a long lens to compress all of those elements together. Better yet, we could do a few different things to capture a little bit of emotion. We could freeze the shutter with a short shutter uh, to freeze this fog in motion, or we could let it open for a very long time for say 30 seconds to create a much more dynamic flow through the image. All right, now let's take a look at the next step. So you've got your shot and you sit down to start editing. And before you just start fiddling around with Lightroom sliders or start messing around in Photoshop, again, we really wanna just take a step back and look at what is the subject of this image? What is the message you wanna convey? Where do you want your viewer to look? So Andrew's gonna walk us through an edit of his photo, just kind of illustrating how he would take a step back and approach the edit before even diving into the edit itself. So as Kyle said, before I get started on a photo, I like to sit down and just take a look at it to see where I wanna draw my viewer into. And then once I know that, what kind of tools can I use to help force the viewer to look where I want them to go. So let's take a look at this example here. We have this nice road, which leads up to the rest of the city here. We have some nice light that kind of hits the side and cuts off, which is a really nice subject. So this is actually where I want people to be focusing. And now what can I do to help them focus here, right? First thing I can do is just remove this. That's actually taking some of my viewers' attention away and I don't want them looking there again, right? We want them looking right in the middle. Another thing that we can do is start to just really darken up this side here because there's nothing of value in this bottom corner here. So I'm gonna use different filters and gradients to help draw people back up this way. And finally, another thing that we can do is we actually have some really beautiful sunlight coming in from the left-hand side here. So what we can do is actually just uh, increase the, the amount of sun that's coming from this left hand side here so that just gives us a really natural nice leading line into the rest of our subject right in here and after doing all of those things this is the final edit that we get so you can clearly see the difference between the two the first one our attention is just focused much more on the bottom right hand side it's almost a flat image and with the top image our focus is much more shifted right to that middle where we want it to be. So by taking this approach, you can elevate your photography beyond any level that you've ever previously achieved because you are doing so with intention and with purpose. As soon as we started using this technique and this framework, it truly did elevate our photography to that next, next level. Absolutely. And again, this taking a step back approach is really just the first step 
in the overall approach that we're trying to teach here. So in our upcoming course, Photography for Creators, we are going to be diving into absolutely everything. So location scouting, to weather monitoring, to dodge and burn in-depth tutorials, to creating complex selections and composites within Photoshop, and really walking through the entire process with us in the field to the editing room, and not just showing you how we're doing things, but why we're doing them as well. Definitely the why aspect is really important because we want you to understand, you know, what's going on rather than just knowing how to do certain things. So make sure to stay on the lookout as we release more information about the upcoming course and what's going to be included in it. Spots are going to be super limited. So if you do want to guarantee yourself a spot, we highly, highly, highly recommend signing up for the early bird waitlist, which is linked in our bio and in the description of this video. All right, and if you enjoyed this video, you are gonna absolutely love next video. We are giving away pretty much like the secret sauce that not many people are talking about at all. It was a huge game changer for both Kyle and myself, and Absolutely. we are super stoked to share it with you in our next video. Andrew didn't want to give it out as part of the free kind of six-part training program. He wanted to save it for the course, but I was able to convince him to put it in the six-part video series that we're putting together. So do absolutely be on the lookout for that one coming very, very soon. All right, and that being said, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, shoot us a DM or put them in the comments below. Thank you guys always for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you in the next one. See ya. Later skaters. Later skaters. Huh? It just came out. It just came out. <laughs>